Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to be doing a Ghost Whisperer inspired tutorial. If you have been following me on Facebook, then you know that I've made several comments about how beautiful I thought her nice bronze eye look was. Um, I did go ahead and put together this tutorial. It's a great wearable look, but it's very sultry and sophisticated and Obviously, I don't look like Jennifer Love Hewitt, but I really think that I was able to capture at least the essence of the makeup that she uses in her television show. So I really hope you enjoy going through this tutorial with me. I hope that you'll let me know what you think of it in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so we've already primed our lids. We don't necessarily have to because we're going to be using one of the eye tattoos for our base. The one I'm using today is the Bad to the Bronze, and this is just going to help our eyeshadow be more vibrant in this case. I'm going to take my Real Techniques Basic Eyeshadow Brush, and I've loaded that up with the product. Now when I'm putting this on the lid, I'm going to create a basic shape. Only go just to your crease. Now we need a matte highlight that is close to our skin tone, so I'm going to be using Brulee by Wet n Wild and a big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to put that from the crease to my eyebrow. Make sure you get that inner corner as well. What I'm going to do is use my Moscow palette from the Go Palettes from Coastal Scents. And it's got this beautiful bronze color right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put this over top of that bad to the bronze that we used first with the same brush. If you do find that you have excess of the bad to the bronze on the brush, you can just use a tissue or something to wipe off that excess. Now she has kind of a very rounded eyeshadow. It doesn't come out. It's not in the crease. Everything else is very matte, but she has a beautiful, bright, shiny bronze color all over the lid. Now this is where you're going to design that final shape. Okay, now we're going to go back to our fluffy crease brush with no additional product added. And you're just going to go right along the edge using small little strokes back and forth just so it's not a very harsh edge. It's very defined, but it's not harsh. Now I'm going to take a small smudger brush. This one's from e.l.f., but you can use any one you have. And I'm loading it up with the bronze from the Moscow palette. And you're just going to do a thick smudge of the bronze under here.
the smudge under her eye is very strong. So even if you're not used to making a nice thick smudge line there, you need to go ahead and go for it if you want it to be inspired by her look. And then I'm just going to take my fluffy brush and soften that bottom edge a little. Now, her eyeliner doesn't look like it stands out in the picture that I'm using. So what I'm going to do is use my Smashbox um, Limitless Eyeliner in Fig. And this is just a nice dark brown color that will complement the bronze. She also doesn't look like she has it up to her tear duct, so I'm just going right to where my lashes end. Now there's not a black line on the top, so what I'm going to do is tight line my upper lash line um, on both eyes so that my lashes are going to look even fuller and thicker like hers, but I'm not going to have that dark line. And then we're going to do a little brown eyeliner on the top of the lash line to really emphasize those lashes. For the upper lash line, I'm going to use the brown for my Physician's Formula Gel Liner. And I'm not winging this out either. And I'm keeping it nice and close to the lash line. Now you want to curl your lashes. And then apply good thick coat of mascara on the top and a thin coat on the bottom just to define the lashes. Her upper lashes are very dark and very full. You can also add false eyelashes to the look to really emphasize the lashes as well. I'm using my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. But feel free to use whatever mascara you like and I'm keeping the lips nice and neutral because she tends to wear a complementary lip color um, so today I just picked my Ice Latte by NYX and on the cheeks I just have a nice neutral blush and then a nice highlight under the eyes so that they stand out. Well, there we have the finished look everyone. I hope you really enjoyed this Ghost Whisperer inspired tutorial. It's very wearable. You could wear it to the office, you could wear it for daytime errands, or you could even wear this particular look on a date night or an evening out. Um, it's a very versatile look. It's going to have very long staying power, and it's really going to make the eyes pop and have a great focus to it. 
So I appreciate everybody watching and thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.